Alright guys, so we are here at Jirong Peking Duck located in Rosemead and today we ordered the Peking Duck but not only that, we also got the house special tasty frog. For the duck to get prepared, it takes about 12 hours with the seasoning in the fridge and once it freezes, comes out and has to cool down in the room temperature. Then they put it in the oven for about 50 minutes. So if you want to come to the restaurant and wait for 75 minutes until your duck comes out, you can do that. I didn't want to do that, so I called ahead, made a reservation, so you should also do that. Before we get the main dishes out, we got ourselves two little appetizer snack. Walnut covered in honey with sesame. Cumin flavored beef jerky. Just from the smell from the cumin flavored beef jerky, it has a hint of spiciness. The herbal seasoning. Mmm, this is like a healthy snack. All right, now let's try the, the cumin beef jerky. It kind of has that lamb kebab flavor mixed in. It's good. There's many different kind of styles to eat the duck. You can make a burrito, you can make a taco, or you can just eat it the way that some people originally, you know, created to eat. For example, you got the skin, which is the crispy part, and you got the meat, the tender part. A lot of people will actually mix a meat and a skin together but if you do that, you lose the texture of the skin and the crispiness of it. So what you like to do is, I'm gonna try the skin first. So get the skin and you actually put it upside down. Now the reason why I put it upside down is because when you put the sauce on top of it, you don't want the sauce to touch the crispiness of the outside skin. And I'm gonna get one cucumber and some green onions. What you don't want to do is make it so bulky. You're here to enjoy the crispy texture of the duck. That is so good. And this time, the meat. And let's enjoy the meat. I'm so happy I got to find Jirong Peking Duck. Super juicy, so tender. Like the way you chew it, it's the meat just disappears, like it just crumbles away. It's so good. The meat and the crispy skin. You can, by choice, mix the meat and the skin together in one hand and just eat it together. But that's like defeating the purpose of having two different methods of cooking and you just totally kill it. I don't recommend putting it both together. But before I continue, I gotta get myself some duck soup. When you're eating the duck meat, the duck meat has a lot of oil. So in between bites, I would recommend either drinking a hot tea or the duck soup. What that does is it kind of cleanses your mouth and your throat and all the oil. So every single bite will be a new bite. Duck legs. There are multiple ways to eat it. You could just rip it, put it on the rice cake, your choice. Crispy, crunchy, but also it has a soft, fluffy, like, kind of taste. So they have scallions, garlic, jalapeno, onions, and last but not least, frog. Eating this with just rice would be perfect too. Look at that. Oh. I love how it has a little kick to it. When I was in China, every summer, I would go out onto the street and there's the local street vendors. They will have this like seafood, like where they grill it like right in front of you. And they will also have frog. People have like so many options, like whether they want a stir fried or also just in a hot pot. Or they also have like a frog meatball kind of style. Like once you eat it, it tastes like chicken. So I believe in like Louisiana, a lot of people ate frog or like crocodile. It all tastes like chicken. I'm not sure if this is scientifically proven. People did tell me that if you guys have like high temperature body, then you should avoid eating a lot of frog. Frog is actually good for people who have cold body. So like their core temperature is like at a lower temperature compared to other people. 
This family style table is one of my favorite. You could have all the food you want on this glass top. All you gotta do is simply rotate and the food comes to you. That was a dynamite in my mouth. It really felt like I just flew all the way to Beijing and got the authentic pecking duck. And I'm pretty sure the chef here is authentic. Like he is a pro chef, like he know what he's doing. So guys, if you want to try the pecking duck, make sure you head over to the Jirong pecking duck in Rosemead. Don't go anywhere else and try to get the pecking duck because it's conveniently closer to you. Drive a little far, come down here, try it. And guys, if you like the video, please subscribe and like and share the video. So not only Jirong, but all your friends and family will know where to enjoy the authentic Beijing duck. All right guys, I'm out.